and we're going to use an active axe combo box and the only reason I'm using an active X combo box as opposed to say a form control combo box is that the active X combo box outputs the actual value or you can get it to output the actual value that you've selected into a cell and it has the added bonus sorry of looking quite professional so it could a data validation list would also output to the same cell but it doesn't look as professional and you could end up, you know, you're going to have to merge cells and things like that. ActiveX combo box can float on top. If I hold down Alt, can have it sort of sized like that, can float on top of those cells. Definitely looks like a drop down selector and I can get it to output to E2. So I'm just going to change a few properties on that. So you could click on properties there or you could just right click and do properties. So, a couple of important things. First thing, the style changed to a list. Because uh, a combo would let people type in it, and we don't want that. Special effect, because we're using it on a worksheet, I like to do flat, because it gives more room for the text that gets chosen. And talking of that, it never quite fits the same size text as the row height. So what I like to do is just knock down one off the font scale because otherwise um, you'll see it sort of cuts the bottom of things like the letter Y off. Right, and then also the border style, I'm going to put a border around it. Actually, I might make that black while I'm at it. Okay. Right, so that's that style wise set up now our link cell i said was going to be e2 so that's where it's going to output our region name and our list fill arrange is going to be this list this on here and wish you could just highlight that you can't uh, i'm going to put this to b3 to b9 now I've got some videos coming out, in fact they might be out already, how you can make all of this kind of thing completely dynamic. So if you add more regions or um, you, you want your people to be able to insert columns and rows on the spreadsheet and it all just come dynamically. Got all that handy, handled in other videos, so take a look around up for Excel. Hopefully it should be a link in the description or on screen anyway. Right, so we've got it linked, we've got it looking good. Let's just have a look. So you've got to take it off design mode to test this stuff. Close that. Yeah, appears to be linking to that list. Let's hit that and just go over that cell. You can see the contents of that cell there are uh, matching the drop down box. So it's good to go. So I'm just gonna call this uh, sales and Profit um, by month for put a space and merge that with E2. Fix it. So there you see. Now our chart title will change as we change this. Well, more precisely, this cell will change. We're going to use a formula here to get these sales, and we're going to use a formula called some ifs. So I'm going to use the some ifs formula in here. Now, this formula came in, I think, in a, you know mid 2000s, something like that. So hopefully you should have it in the version of Excel that you are using. If you don't, though, you can use the some if formula. It works in a very similar kind of way, but you'll just need a different formula for each of the months. But let's just use some ifs because it's far more powerful. So our sum range is going to be on our data table, the sales. So if we go to the first line of sales or even the header if you want, but first line of sales and hit control shift down, you'll see our formula up here has picked up that we want all the sales in this table called orders. So that's, that's ideal and that's a, another great reason to make your data a table. 
So we want the sum of the table. Right, our criteria range for the first thing I'm going to check for, because it's nice and simple, is the uh, month. So same thing, hold down the month, shift, sorry, control shift and down, pick up the month. I only want to pick up data where the month is equal to the month above. So I'm going to do that, click on that, and I'm going to hit F4 to fix various parts of the range. Now what I want to fix is only the row. So I always want it to be on row five. So when I copy this data along, it goes E, F, picks up the various months. And I'm also going to get rid of the sheet name example because you don't need it. And it's just kind of annoying if you want to uh, copy and paste these formulas to other sheets, it's still then referring back to the old sheet. I'd rather just lose it. So that will pick up the total sales for the month of January, the formula as it stands at the moment, if I was just to hit enter. But we want to also check for the region that we've picked on our drop down. So go back to our data, go back to the region. I'll do exactly the same thing. So it comes up as the region there. And then what's our criteria here? Well, it's whatever's in the cell E2 the output of our drop down box. Hit F4 once to fix that because wherever we copy and paste this formula, the region's still in the same place. Remove the sheet name for the same reason, personal preference. Close the parentheses, hit enter. In fact, if I copy this across now, uh, and you can do Control R actually as a shortcut on that, there's some fairly big numbers in there. So what I've done on my chart is I've divided them by a thousand and done that because that will just give me some smaller numbers on the chart and you can say that the sales are in thousands then. Yeah, on the chart if you want. Now number format's not great either. So I'm gonna hit Control Shift one, which is gonna make it into a number. Gonna knock a couple of decimal places out. So just sort of round it off a bit. Right, so that's our sales formula. Profit formula, well, the great thing about tables is that if I change that word to profit, as long as my column's called profit, in fact, you could tell it is because it's given me that suggestion, hit enter, and then I can copy that across as well. We now have our complete sort of uh, sales and profit data, and this should now be changing as my region changes. Hope you enjoyed that. The whole spreadsheet, free to download. Work along to this video as many times as you like. Do whatever you like. Put your own data and charts, links in there. Hope you have fun with it, and I'll see you soon.